a production of theturtleroom.com, in association with the podcast. All right, guys, this looks like a pretty good place to go herping. So what I have to do is get in my herping attire. All right, now I'm ready to go herping. You'll notice I'm wearing old shoes, old shorts, and an old shirt. You don't want to have anything nice because trust me, you're going to get down and dirty. The hat, my girlfriend got me this hat for the express purpose of herping. The lesson to be learned here is that if it looks goofy, if you've got a significant other that's willing to go out of her way to, I don't know, oh, God. if you have a significant other that's willing to go out of her way to get you something, you wear it. Right, first thing first, we have a juvenile eastern painted turtle. Look at the markings, so beautiful. There's a common snapper right there. It looks cool, it looks like it has like pink on his head. Yep. Yeah. Apex Predator here. No, um, no threats to this guy really besides humans. Um, an interesting note at this location, um, about two or three weeks ago the local newspaper ran an ad about a gentleman who was saving ducks by removing common snapping turtles that had probably been here for 50 years and removing them to wherever he felt was uh, appropriate. And in the picture, he's holding them by the tail, which just for anyone out there, holding a snapping turtle by the tail can damage, uh, can, can cause damage to their spine. So we're holding it right here by the back of the carapace, um, right in the so rear wheel wells. And the snapper can't get me here. And it's a lot more comfortable and will not injure the turtle. So on land, they have to stay and fight because they're so slow and awkward on land. A lot of people, including the turtle man on Animal Planet, will tell you that they'll attack you underwater, which really isn't the case. In the water, they want to flee from you. They only get their uh, bad reputation as a, as a fighter from their encounters with humans out of water when people see big females going to lay their, uh, to lay their nests. Probably a leopard frog tadpole. The bullfrog tadpoles are really big. And the toad tadpoles, I think, are usually smaller than this, but I'm not an expert on these guys, so you tell me what it is. Just had a headache, so we're just going to take some Advil. Whoa. Wait a minute, it's Whoa. not an Advil, Whoa. it's a painted turtle. Move my hand around. Too much. He was sitting right on top of the muck, he was like, uh, he was in the buffet line. <laughs> Snapping turtle buffet. You're too dumb to survive, probably. But we'll give him a shot to try anyways. You're damn right we will. This is Juvenile Eastern Painted Turtle. I love that the markings are only on the side. That's my favorite part of these guys. Underneath the shell. Otherwise it would look like kind of a, kind of a dull carapace. You know here.